It's arrived. Our V2 kit for the Classic Fit 500 is finally here. We're really, really proud of this setup. Um, as you know, we've, um, we're well known in the industry for Fit 500s. Um, we've done loads of these now, um, but as time moves on, so does technology. We thought it was time to up our game and design a more simple, more affordable kit for the Fit 500. So here it is um, in all its glory. Uh, in this video, I'm going to run through the, uh, each component and give you a kind of rundown of how this goes into one of these. So if you own a classic Fit 500 and want to make it electric, which we think is a really good idea because these are an amazing to drive, um, then this is everything you need to convert your Fit 500 to electric. So this is designed to bolt straight in to one of these cars with uh, no modifications. We've really spent a long time in the design making it as simple as possible to install this. Um, the battery pack here contains the majority of all the wiring. So starting with the rear of the, the, the car here, this is essentially the rear battery pack that we've designed. So um, this panel underneath actually sits in the old engine bay and on top here is the battery pack. So inside here we've got Obviously the battery modules, we've got the DC to DC converter, we've got the battery management system. All of the HV wiring is contained inside here. We've also integrated the Type 2 charge port here into the battery pack for, for ease of fitment. So in order to make this kit more affordable, we've tried to keep everything more or less in one place. So um, in the old kit, we had battery box up the front, we had loads of different components scattered around everywhere. In this build, we've tried to keep everything inside here. So as you can see, and you'll see later on, there's very little components that actually go into this build. Um, and that's how we've managed to achieve quite an attractive price point. Uh, this car will have no, obviously no gear linkages, no gearbox, nothing. So a simple forward and reverse switch, or that fits where the original um, shifter goes. So that's super simple. Um, loom, so this is the loom that comes with the car, um, connects to your inverter, to your, to the, you know, the rear battery pack, and it's all very plug and play. So we repurposed the original gauge cluster to keep it uh, as authentic as possible. This one here is the square style Speedo that we fitted a digital display in, and this will display all the information you need. Uh, we also do one for a round style Speedo as well. So best of both worlds. Uh, so this is the charger. So this charges the high voltage battery, 3.3 uh, kilowatts as standard. Um, we can fit a 6.6, but it's not really necessary. The charge time for one of these from empty is about four hours, so it's pretty, pretty good. So another advantage of this kit is um, because we've just fitted the battery pack mainly to the rear, um, we've got quite nice boot space up the front. I'll come and show you now. So this is where the fuel tank originally went. Uh, but as you can see, we've got a nice big boot space here. Uh, we are offering a, a range extender in the front um, for our rural versions. If you wanted more range, um, we're finding 80 miles is just a, a sweet spot in these cars. It's, you don't really want to be doing long journeys in them anyway, um, but that's totally up to you. So we're super proud of this simplicity of this um, kit. If you check out this footage now of the old kit, you'll see there's vastly more components and that's how we've achieved their price point. So a lot of you are going to be asking about range. Um, so this is a teeny battery pack. Um, it's amazing how batteries have come on um, over the years. Um, you can see it's not very big. Um, so it's only 13, just over 13 kilowatt hours. Uh, we recently did a range test um, from here to Bath and back and had a lovely time. And we achieved 85 miles from, from empty, which was quite, quite astonishing considering. Um, so yeah, 85 miles and that was mainly A roads and nipping around the city. It was quite warm, so in the winter you could expect a bit less. So let's talk about motor. So this is the electric motor. Um, this is about four times the power of the original engine, so plenty of poke. And what's nice about this setup is it gets rid of the original gearbox. So we found the original gearboxes leaked oil quite often um, and also they're quite weighty. So this setup is a lot simpler and we're getting better efficiency and better power outputs than the old setups. And we're really, really satisfied with this. And that's a wrap on our V2 conversion kit video. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got any more questions then drop them in the comments below. Failing that, please head to our website where there's more information. Thanks again. And don't forget to like and subscribe.